Hey guys, I uh, just want to give you a quick overview of what we're actually seeing um, regarding your comment or, uh, you know, the message that you left me saying that you were down 16%, whatever the case may be. Um, as far as, you know, what I can see um, and how we track and measure is, uh, you know, I kind of went into um, Google Analytics, which is what we have on your website, and what you're seeing here is a comparison between just this last 30 days and a comparison to the 30 days prior. So September 23rd to October 23rd compared to August August 23rd to September uh, 22nd. Okay, so roughly a month in comparison side by side. And as you can see, the blue line is this last 30 days and the orange line is the previous 30 days. Okay, um, and we're technically, you know, as far as visitors go, user or sessions go, we're at 2,114 versus 2,154. So we're only down about 1.86% in overall traffic. Um, as far as unique users go, like some of these people have come and, you know, left and then come back again. But as far as unique users go, uh, we're, you know, from 1 or 1697 to 1744 which is really, really low as far as like a dip in traffic, um, although, you know, it's 2.69%. It's so it's not quite, you know, equates to 16%. Um, you know, I was looking at your Facebook stuff also, and this is the last 30 days, more or less, uh, you know, paid uh, methods, organic reach and paid reach in Facebook, and you can see in the one, you know, point two thousand range uh, one thousand range whatever the case may be um, of the reach the post reach that we're getting to uh, here's October and then I'm gonna slide this over to like September and you can kind of see that it's a little bit higher in September but maybe on a certain post it's something that went a little bit more viral than everything else but really not any kind of huge uh, you know, drastic um, jump in traffic. So, yeah, you know, I'm just a little curious as to, you know, I don't know how 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 16 percent was you know deduced. But anyway, it, it's not by by Facebook, and it's certainly not by Google. Um, if I type in Salon uh, Boca. Uh, you guys are obviously ranked number one. Here's your domain, you know, rank number one. Uh, here's your AdWords campaign up here is number one. Um, if I type, well, let's, I mean, just real, really quickly, I'm not going to go through every keyword, but, you know, best salon Boca. You guys are still ranked number one here, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it looks pretty good. I mean, an overall bird's eye view of the landscape as I'm going through the Internet. Now, I was checking your power listings that I do for you guys uh, monthly. And um, just bear with me one second. And for Salon Sora, right, you've got, you know, I'm, you know I've got your power listings all updated. Everything looks great across the board. I um, mean, I could show you what some really crappy ones look like. And this is how I usually, you know, land clients because we can get, you know, these power listings all tight and, uh you know, all your directory sites, all these local directory sites are, you know, all the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed. Um, as far as uh, Yelp goes, you know, Yelp has their own ranking algorithm. Uh, so there's really no control over that via SEO Mavericks. You know, we don't have any control over what Yelp does as far as, like, you know, who they decide to promote or push higher into the search engine rankings or whatever the case may be and you know they get pulled up by Google just like anybody else you know when I go to the listing obviously the first you know thing I see is you know South Florida is so lucky to have Carrie Resnick at the salon Frank is one of the owners and is always lovely and it shows that he cares for each customer and you know blah 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 there's some reviews and it all looks good and that kind of correlates with um, you know all these power listings now all these pages you know they show they don't show as in-depth stuff about Salon Sora as, say, maybe Yex does, but, you know, you're still dialed in there. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, your AWeber. As far as AWeber, like I was looking in the last 30 days, we've had over 600, or 67, you know, opt-ins. So, we're, I mean, we're building that list. It's all looking good. Um, everything is, uh, people are opting in. 
Um, you know, again, within Facebook, I see a lot of like, uh, you know, shares for your, your, your account, a lot of uh, likes, uh, mostly likes. And, and, and a few shares, I'll say, but um, <clears throat> everybody that comes to the page seems to enjoy the page and the content that's being disseminated on the page. Um, I, I don't know, you know, I mean, it, you know, everybody experiences a slow week or two, give or take, you know, and seasonal shifts and whatever, but quite frankly, no pun intended, Frank, you guys are, are pretty dialed in, you know. Um, yeah, and just so you know and you're aware, um, in the future, going forward, well, let me just say this. For all clients, um, I'm putting a form on my website, and we are going to start, you know, I just think my clients are like a little lackadaisical as far as like writing blogs. It's not consistent enough, and, you know, blogs help to rank for multitudes of keywords. It keeps the spiders on the website, this, that, and the other thing. So we're going to do that for you. We're going to start writing your blogs uh, one a week, um, you know, uh, and, and, and post it and optimizing it and whatever the case may be to Salon Sora blogs, as we would, uh, you know, our colleges, our, 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 you know, our attorneys, whoever our clients are, any of our clients, all of our clients are going to get that. You know, if they're, you know, not a, you know, if it's something that um, that I feel is, is important for their rankings uh, or, or, you know, just, just in general. But anyway, um, that's really it in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call. But if you have something specific that you might be dipping down in, let me know. Because otherwise, what I see, you know, again, Yelp, you know, your power listens are all completely dialed in. Um, your, uh, your, your Google rankings are up high. Uh, you know, Best Salons, Boca, you know, um, I'm, you know your, your AdWords campaigns are running flawlessly. Your, uh, your organic uh, rankings really have not dropped at all. I mean, really, you know, other than, a, a, you know, a couple percent. Or, or a couple percents or so, you know, give or take. Um, you know, I can stretch this out a little bit more and then pull this back here a little bit. Um, you know, we're still, we're still, you know, you know, up there. Uh, your, your, again, your, your, your organic reach, yeah, has it dipped? It dipped 1.86 percent. You know, possible you know, unique new users, 2.69%, but nothing that would, you know, but they're actually staying longer on the actual, on your website. So your bounce rate actually has gone down, which is a good thing. So, you know, that's kind of, you know, what we see in an overview of what's going on on the digital frontier. Again, if you have something specific that you, you know, other than maybe sales that I can't control or uh, you know things of that nature, but your popularity, your 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 um, you know just your overall persona online and your your you know you just your your presence, if you will, is is you know really killing it. I mean, you're really in a good spot. You're in a sweet you know spot, and uh, everything seems to be working fine. Okay, so just kind of give me a heads up a little bit. I've got to go to um, <clears throat> some you know I've got kids. So it's Saturday, and you know we got soccer games and things like that. That's why I wanted to make this video for you, um, so you at least have something to see, you know, and, and and kind of generate some ideas or thoughts in your head that you know we, I can better answer. You know, if we can schedule a particular time to maybe get into a, you know, I can share my screen with you in a join me meeting, show you what I'm looking at, and we can talk. Uh, I can come in in person. You know that, so that's never been an issue, and uh, you know we'll go from there. Um, but as of right now, I think that you guys are pretty solid. But you know, you you, you know, it's you know, you have to just let me know, okay? Anyway, um, that's all I got. I don't want to make this video too long. It'll never load, and uh, I will talk to you later. Okay, have a great weekend, guys. And I tried calling you back at the store, but uh, both of you were with clients at the time. So uh, some girl named Nicolette, I think she said her name was, um, uh, took my message. And you should know by now that, you know, I did attempt to uh, give you a call back. All right. I'll talk to you later.